guys, this episode we're talking about Rails 8.1's new Markdown, Mime Type, and Renderer and how it works and how to use it in your Rails apps. So I've got a really simple Rails app here with a scaffold for posts. They have a title, they have a body. We're gonna say something like hello world and we're gonna use Markdown here and say like go Rails, HTTPS, go Rails.com is awesome. Um, and we'll write a little Markdown in there and we have this rendered out, but it's just a string. Markdown is just text, and we need to be able to render this out in the UI with proper HTML. Now, this new feature of Rails 8.1 is not going to be for rendering HT or Markdown into HTML. It's actually for rendering Markdown as a MIME type and response type in your views. So in order to render this out properly, we're gonna use a gem called Common Marker, which uh, can take basically your markdown text, convert it to HTML and render it out. So I've already got this gem installed, but you can add it to your gem file and run bundle to install it. And then we can hop into our view and go to where the post body is rendered. And we'll say common worker to HTML, give it that content and we can then mark it as HTML safe afterwards. Now there's a whole bunch of options you can also add in here as well which you can check out the common marker docs, but we're gonna use the defaults here. And we'll refresh our page and we now get Go Rails is awesome. Go Rails is the link with the markdown and awesome is italicized um, because the markdown has converted this over to an anchor tag and an EM tag. So that's awesome. That works as we would expect it to. Now the Rails 8.1 feature of markdown as a mime type and a renderer, it actually refers to the renderer in your controllers. So when you have a view like this where we can respond to HTML or the JSON version of this, we can now say format.md. That's going to look for the .md file extension in the URL, um, and then we can say render markdown, which is the markdown renderer. So this .md is the MIME type um, and the shortcut for that. Then we have render markdown and we can give it the post. And this, if we try to do this in the browser and visit 3.md, it's gonna give us an internal server error and it's gonna be undefined method call for an instance of post. What's going on here is basically that the markdown renderer will attempt to call to markdown on our model and we can then delegate this to the body attribute where our markdown text is and if we refresh in our browser we get the raw markdown uh, content as we would expect here and if we open the um, network browser and we refresh we can see this request and the content type is going to be text slash markdown uh, character set of utf8 so that's the mime type being rendered out um, for the content type of our response. And this is something useful in the day of AI, as uh, DHH mentions, Markdown is what we use to give to our LLMs in order to read this and use this as context in your request. Um, so this is super useful for that, but it doesn't actually do rendering of Markdown to HTML. And that's where something like Common Marker is gonna come into play. This is what I've switched to using for pretty much everything these days. It has a bunch of options, lots of the same GitHub flavored markdown features as well, and it works really great. And that's what we can use to actually render it out as HTML in the browser. But now we have the format.md MIME type registered as well as the markdown renderer. And all we have to do is define that to markdown method and we are good to go. So we can have any of our views now respond with Markdown um, as a content type. So that's pretty awesome. Um, that's really all there is to it. This is not a big feature. I know a lot of people were super excited about it. I think a lot of people assumed it was something like this, common marker being added to Rails, but it's not. It's actually just the content type uh, mime type and the render renderer, um, and that's the confusing part. I think the renderer uh, just refers to having the render helper understand that yes, this mime type um, should go and return this content. Uh, so that's all there is to it, really. There's not a whole bunch to talk about here, but that is all you need to do in your models in order to make them render out as markdown. So that's pretty awesome.